Hey, what is going on the YouTube? This is the gaming guy. Today's video, obviously, I'm recording the intros exactly the same as either the previous video or the next video, just because of the fact that I'm recording this at pretty much the same time. Uh, so this video is going to be covering the week one of Full Winter 18, or week zero of Full Winter 18's drop list. Uh, the full drop list, and yeah, there's not much else to say. Let's go and get into this. It's including a couple of, obviously, the hyped items that people are waiting for, and yeah, let's get into this. Okay, so we're going to be going through the full drop list. Just to let you know, there are a lot of items. They might as well have just like gone and taken the lookbook itself and just said here, this is dropping week one. Because they're basically dropping about 70 or 70 plus items. It took me about 15 minutes just to download all of the pictures to put up. So... There are just so many items, it's ridiculous. So anyway, let's get straight into this with the number one item of this week is the Madonna tea. I don't know which colorway is best in this piece. Personally, I would either say white or black, but some people might say that other colors like navy or red would work with it as well. But I just think black or white, that's normally a great standard to go for. It's a good tea in general, it's a really nice piece, but those colorways are normally the best to go for in most teas. Now obviously this only works for in-store currently because online is next week, so this is the drop list for next week. The next item is the Supreme Mophie charger uh, for the iPhone 8 and iPhone 8 Plus in black and red. Obviously the standard colorways that Supreme normally release items in. Following that we've got the liquid tea. Again another piece that would either work in black or white, whichever colorway to be honest. But just make sure that it sort of matches when you're looking at it. Maybe a different color like the terracotta or olive might make it but like stand out a bit more but you never know following that we've got three bags which are obviously the waist bag shoulder bag and backpack uh, they're currently quite highly rated out of all of them the backpack has the best sort of like to dislike ratio as always I'll leave the link down below to where you can go to look at this drop list and obviously follow it while I'm going through as well and I always like to hear everyone else's opinions so just put them down below following that we've got the still life tea I thought this was a really nice tea but it's not got as many likes as the other ones uh, I think in the terracotta colorway or possibly the olive colorway, this would be a great piece to pick up. But yeah, there, there are just so many pieces, you've got a lot of options to go for. So following that, we've got the classic script hoodie. Uh, this is actually receiving a lot of love, and I do understand why, because it does look like a nice uh, like scripted signature look to it. So I can get why it's receiving a lot of love, because it is a nice piece. Next up, we've got the diamond plate toolbox. I don't know how much this retail will be for this, but it's a really, really nice piece. And obviously the toolboxes normally go up in value quite a lot. So I can see this one rising quite easily. Okay, next up we have the leather anorak. Again, another piece that I really like. And I think in the camo colorway, it'll probably sell out quite quickly or faster than people might expect. Or well, hopefully it does because, you know, when people underestimate some items and they sell out a lot faster, it makes them wish they went for them. So, but it's a really nice piece. I don't know how the other two colorways will do for it, but yeah. I just think the camo colorway will sell out fastest. Next up we have the utility bag and the 1994 long sleeve tee. Uh, I really like the long sleeve tee. Uh, it is a really nice piece. I wouldn't know which colorway is best to pick up in it, but I just think any is probably pretty decent to go for. Next up we also have the duffel bag uh, followed by the bottle cap tee. With all the bags, I just think they're nice. I like the design. Uh, but I don't know which colorway will sell out best. I would say probably the latest or the newest colorway, which would be the purple violet one, will probably sell out fastest. But you'll have to see about that. So we've got the bottle cap tea. Um, I don't know how this tea will go down, to be honest. It might go down really well. It might not go down so well, you know, because it is just a tiny bottle cap. It's like the small box logo that appear on some of the other tops. You know, you don't really know how that will go down in the end. Following this, we've got the Supreme Haynes boxer briefs standard pretty much that are coming out then we've got the patchwork peak tea i would have thought this item as well would have had a lot more love than it does but some items just don't get as much as you expect for them i definitely think that the front two patchwork actual pieces will sell out the fastest and in the future they'll probably have quite a high resale value next up is the piece that i absolutely love and will be going for which is the motion logo varsity jacket this is receiving a lot more hate than I actually anticipated that it would. I thought it would have gone down quite well, but it's just not at all for people. Also, I've just seen on uh, Supreme Community, they've put that the logo on the back, the Motion logo is embroidered, which I thought it was printed on, but I don't know. We'll have to wait and see about that. Following the Motion logo varsity jacket, we've got the Supreme uh, Kawako, yeah, Kawako uh, sports ball pen and AL pencil. 
uh, that's dropping. Again, I think this would be about 60 or 65 pounds as the last one that came out was about that value. Following this, we've got two more accessories, which is the Supreme uh, Thermos Stainless King Food Jar and Spoon and the Taikua or Taikua. I, I really don't know how to pronounce it. It's frustrating when you can't pronounce it. The Taikua Pocket Pro Stopwatch that's coming out as well. If these have low retails, which I don't think they will, they will probably sell out a lot faster than people would think, especially the stopwatch. I can see that selling out and then just sort of fading away, like you won't see it that often. Uh, so that's probably a decent item to pick up if it's cheap. The same applies for the Thermos. That'll probably be a great item like towards the end of the winter time or when it gets a lot colder because people want that more. Next up, we have the Scatter Ringer. I don't really have a lot to say about this. I do like the scattered idea, but I don't like it on a ringer. I'd prefer it on just a tee or maybe a hoodie or something. Then we have the Cutouts tee. Uh, I'm just going to skip it because I, I don't really, it's not anything special for me. Um, so I'm just going to go on ahead. And we have the Split Crew Neck next, which was obviously leaked and we saw. Uh, I think that the either the black and white or the navy blue and red colorway will be the best for these. Uh, that's my just personal preference, but we'll have to see how they go down. Then again, we have the standard Supreme's, Supreme Hanes uh, socks. We have these pocket tee and the light top as well. Uh, I don't know how these pieces will go down. I'll expect the camo colorway in the pocket tee to sell out quite fast, but I don't know how the light one will uh, sell out as it's a top so it will probably be 78 pounds or 68 pounds then we have the perforated leather hooded sweatshirt coming out um i wasn't really a massive fan of this piece i like the design but i'm i don't know i'm just not a massive fan of it to be honest following this we have four of the tees that were shown which is the qt the guts tee the life sucks die tee and the bedroom tee they're all receiving 50 50 on their likes to dislikes uh some getting more dislikes than likes um i don't think these tees will have crazy resale afterwards if people aren't liking them now to be honest so i think we'll just have to see how they go down in general but they probably won't have a massive resale value to them in comparison to the first like three or four tees that are more to like the top of the list then again we've got the supreme haynes tagless tees we've got the uh, dog tape seam jacket next with the uh, graphic piece on the back by Sanchito. To match the bedroom tee, we've got the bedroom skateboard deck coming out. Then we've got the panther pendant followed by the nylon plaid pullover. I'm not a fan of the skateboard deck to be honest. Uh, the gold pendant, I just, yeah, I don't think that's going to have any value to it afterwards because most of them don't sell out nowadays and the plaid pullover i'm not too much of a fan of either next up we've got the fuck you skateboard followed by the reflective camo camp cap and the newsprint sweater i actually like the skateboard deck in either the blue or the pink colorway however since they're releasing a lot of the items that i'm after i probably won't be going for it again for the reflective camo camp cap i think in this ice blue sort of colorway it is really like just great it's such a great colorway because they're not releasing that on one of the jackets so because of that there's not going to be any other item that has a reflective color to it that's in a blue colorway and i like the newsprint sweater and the bottoms i but obviously people aren't liking the sweater too much because it's this far down on the list following this we've got the loose uh, gorge beanie and the stonewash slim jean and obviously the supreme spitfire wheels uh the beanie i was going to expect because it wasn't actually like the most amazing beanie that they've got out of all of them uh, so i was expecting it not to be too high on the list and as you can see it's down here uh, the stonewash slim jean i don't know why people are upset with because it's a, just a pair of jeans with a supreme like it's just supreme on it they'll probably be a hundred and something pounds though so and the spitfire wheels are just standard following this we've got the new york pillbox the cordura s logo six panel and the split sweat pan i'm expecting again the sweat pan in the navy blue and red and the black and white set up fastest i don't know why people aren't liking the pillbox but i'll see how much that is because i might actually get that if it's like 30 pounds i might try and get it and the s logo six panel they normally sell out things with the s logo so I'm expecting that to go. Okay, next up we've got the lock pin. Uh, it's nothing special, it's just a lock that's a pin, so <laughs> it's pretty basic. Uh, then we've got the Supreme Independent Truck, as always, that's dropping. I don't know why people massively dislike the items that are like standards for every season, because it's not like it's anything brand new, but they still dislike them each season then we've got the piece uh, short sleeve top i i would love to understand the reference from this because i remember in a video someone said something about a reference for this but i just don't remember it 
uh, but that is dropping. We then have the vertical logo baseball jersey, the snap front twill jacket, and the patchwork peak short. I'm not a massive fan of any of them. I do like the shorts, um, but I'm not too much of a huge fan of the baseball jersey. I like the black and white colorway, but I do not like the others. And same with the snap front twill. I'm not a massive fan of any of the colorways, to be honest. With the peak shorts, I like the two patchwork colorways or the main patchwork colorways, but I'm not really a fan of them in general. The stripe racing work top, the fuck you tray and the speedway zip sweatshirt are also dropping. Uh, I'm not a massive fan of any of these. I do like the work shirt, but overall I'm just not a fan of any of them, to be honest. We've then got the classic new script era uh, six panel or camp cap, I don't know, followed by the wash chino twill camp cap and the Rose uh, long sleeve work shirt. Uh, I don't like either of the hats that are dropping. I am I like the script text, but I just don't like the colorways that they've sort of picked for it. Um, yeah, that's that. Uh, and same applies to the second one. It's nothing special for me. I thought that the Rose long sleeve work shirt might have gone down a bit better than it has, but obviously it hasn't and people do not like it. Okay, next up we have the New Era script beanie. I've already got one of these, so I won't need another, obviously. Um, Last time the snake script text in my one went down a lot better, I believe was received a bit better than this one, but obviously a lot of people aren't beanie fans in general, so they're not going to like things that much. We also have the rigid slim jean and the stonewashed black slim jean that are dropping as well. Again, people just don't like them in general, so they're not going to like these ones. We then have the diamond stitch denim chore coat. I didn't really like this in the preview. I was okay with the denim color, but I didn't like this in the preview, so I'm just going to skip ahead. We then have the work pant followed by the acid floral shirt. I really did expect the floral shirt to be a lot higher on this list when I did see it, uh, because the counterpart colorway in the black colorway I think is really nice. I would have expected to be up higher on the list by far, but it happens. And yeah, we're going to skip past the work short. We then have the bone zip up sweatshirt, the Oxford shirt and the hooded color blocked corduroy shirt. Um, if people didn't really like the uh, bone like other piece or dog other piece, then they're not going to like this clearly. And the Oxford shirt, I'm just not a fan of. I was expecting the block colorway to maybe be a tiny bit higher, but I, I can understand why people aren't really liking it. We then have the Horizon 5 panel. I wish this design was on a shirt or a tee or something like that, hoodie, anything, uh, because it's a really nice piece. Even do a skateboard deck out of this design, but they haven't and it's not really receiving a lot of love either. We then have the washed regular jean followed by the peak crew neck. Um, I didn't like either of these pieces again or I wasn't just huge fans of them. I was okay with the black colorway and the peak crew neck and maybe this almost Italian type of colorway for the front color, but in general I didn't like them. We then have the printed washed regular jean, I wasn't a fan of again. We then have the Guadalupe beanie, which again isn't receiving a lot of love in comparison to its dislikes on here. Okay, we're on the home stretch for like the last six items. We've got the leather cargo pant. I was not a fan of at all, so I will skip ahead. The diamond stitch crusher to obviously match the work jacket or jacket that's dropping as well. And the nylon plaid track pant that's dropping to counterpart the other plaid piece. The bright stripe beanie, the diamond stitch carpenter jean, the bone classic logo six panel, and the window six panel. So, going over the last couple of items, they do not like the first two because they are counterparts to items that are already being disliked. The bright stripe beanie, I don't I get the concept of it but I don't like the sort of end product or I'm not I'm a huge fan of it diamond stitch carpenter jean it's just not a great idea I don't think so I'll just skip ahead uh, if people didn't like the bone design in general they're just going to hate it when it's on a beanie and the window six panel was already released like we already actually had this item released and people have already had it so they're obviously going to dislike it overall though obviously we have a ton of items, a huge, huge, huge amount of items, like a lot, way too many. So we have 78 items dropping this week. Yes, 78 items. That is a lot of items. So overall, I'm happy with this week. I'm not happy because there's a ton of items, but I'm happy with the overall, I'd say first, like, I don't know, 30, 35 items because I think they're really decent. Some of the other items that did have quite decent designs aren't as high on the list, but I can understand why they aren't too high up. And obviously, some items that are high on the list, some I think should be higher than others, but it happens. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, I'd like be much appreciated. Comment down your opinions down below. And other than that, I will see you on Saturday or Friday for another video. Peace.